Hello, hello, my clipper. Hello. This is for Aries Leo Sag. Okay, so what pulled out was, uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate you for clicking on my video. Uh, spiritual burp, excuse me, truth coming out. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, I appreciate you. To my loyal support, I love you guys. I thank you. To my new subscribers, I love you guys. And I thank you to people who are coming here for the first time. I love y'all, and I hope I can give you something. And uh, remember that my work is protected. No one has permission to copy. No one has permission to copy and paste and steal my little ideals and think it's funny to run to their to their platform and say it. Okay, okay, thank you, guys. All right, so somebody's sister out here might be involved in uh, something. And they might be on psychotic meds like Xanax. And they sit around high and they need to be aware of how their drug use affects many people. It's so somebody's sister or sister-in-law, they're on dope. And uh, they, they, they're tempting you now. They're trying to tempt you with Xanaxes or they're tempting somebody. They might be trying to tempt your partner. <laughs> Cause they're a gold digger and they don't realize or see your true value. Whoever sister is, is they don't realize or see your true value cause they're trying to do something. They're trying to fuck your old man. And this person is a trisexual. They'll try anything once and they keep doing shit over and over again. They never learn their lesson. So this could be a real sister or a sister in the spiritual community. You just gotta take the story as it is. That's what it says, okay? And uh, they want to come and knock you out for telling all their secrets. They want to p -p punch you. I know that's a cool idea. I thought of it. It's cool as fuck. I know. I know, but y'all yeah, can't steal it, okay? And the reason I'm saying that is because people steal my shit. I'm not talking to people that don't do that. I'm talking to people that does do it, okay? Okay, not my loyal people that don't do that. Oh, they want to punch. They want to punch you because you're an ancient seer prophet and you go way back in history. You know, you could be like from the Bible, Daniel. Or Isaiah, or the Greeks of Pythia, or the Oracle of Delphi, and even Nostradamus, they've saw future events. And this people, you already saw, I guess, you have saw in advance that this person was um, a slut. <laughs> and uh, they do anything for money, evidently. Whoever she is, it ain't me. And your animals may bark or meow at certain times because they're aware of a spirit or a ghost in your house. My idea, I know it's cute. Oh, um, and, uh, this mask one, I wrote divine mask one, but it's not a divine mask one, but this mask one is in regret. He'd never experienced a real love from divine. He was just into too many women and parting until dawn. Well, I mean, it is a divine mask one. They just ain't woke up to figure out what, what, uh, what they're meant to do. But, uh, yeah, they're in regret, but they're regretting all the lies they spread about you. They know that, uh, they got to tell you the truth. You're saying out with the truth. What'd you do? Out with the truth. Uh, and, it, uh, and a square came out. And this is a most challenging of aspect of major aspects. It talks of conflicts and stress and disruption and, and feeling frustration. And people around you may be affected and, and their goals are more challenging to reach. So they could be a 90 degree square in your birth chart right now. But um, maybe this sister has a lot of this in their birth chart and that's why there's a lot of uh, conflicts and disruption in their life. They need to look and pay it, be aware of what's in her birth chart. And when you're telling the truth in a reading and you hear a spiritual burp or your nose is itching off, then pay attention because the truth's coming to the surface. Burp. <laughs> Me and just have one. Uh, I told you it's true. It's true for somebody. And um, this person uh um, uh, they're mad because you talked about how they might have been secretly poisoning their partner. Because <laughs> they're trying to collect insurance. I don't know who this is. <laughs> but uh, using your own discernment will steer you away from evil people in places that was not meant for you also. Okay? And spirit will lead you to like good side. See, spirit, you, you got enough uh, common sense. You know how to use your discernment and it led you away from this person. Uh, it might be this masculine. Uh, this masculine is it was wanting to benefit from your death. 
and they're very jealous of you, and they've told uh, way too many lies on you, and God saw them acting out of character and lying on his child, and this is called a fake-ass friend and sister. So this fake-ass friend and sister and divine masculine are a bunch of bullshit, you know? And uh, if you're with a person that never does see your point of view, how are you ever going to make your side of your story be heard? Because they don't care one way or the other. See, you can never make this person see your side of story, whoever this is. Uh, it, it's, they're a one-way, a one-sided fucking motherfucker. That's why they probably can't keep a relationship for a long time. And uh, thieves don't know when to stop. They keep taking and taking because they've never had a good idea on their own without the help of another person. So all they know how to do is go and copy and paste. That's why I say this. See, that's why I say it in my readings. Um, so whoever this is, it might be a sister in the spiritual community. And she's, she sits real high. And when you see them, they might be like, yes, hey, blah, 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 blah. when they're doing a reading, their eyes is like, yes, that's when they took their zans. Are you listening? And uh, they're mad that I just said that because they'll fucking go digger and they're a trisexual. They'll try anything once. They don't care. They'll lay down and let a damn uh, dog screw them. If it would, I'd say, whoever it is, I don't know. Don't get mad at me. I don't know who it's reading for. It's for somebody. But they're mad because the angels of love work for you and me and my collective. They're mad at you because that. And because they, they know that this person, every time you, they see you, their heart races, palm out of their chest. It's a very intense feeling when I see you walk by. My heart's going, but up but up but up but up Their heart's all racing now, and this person makes you feel like a kid still. Y'all play around like a little puppy or kitty. All my ideas. And when I first saw your face, I know that we would saw each other before. I saw me through your eyes, and I knew we'd lived a many, many lives before. That's what I mean, Pam. You're their cupcake, my cupcake, my cupcake, kitty cat. Did <laughs> you hear that? Oh, and uh, you and your partner has a sacred marriage. You're meant to help the planet with showing what unconditional love truly is. This is a sacred connection that no one can break. It's me and my partner. That's why I wrote it. We got a sacred marriage, and it's bitch, whoever she is, in the spiritual community or a real sister, they're jealous. They're jealous because they don't have that. And uh, when Spirit gives you a lot of feathers, know that the message is you're getting ready to receive abundance from divine. You're a light worker and you're getting ready to travel. Oh, wow. Well, you might be getting messages. You might uh, be a person that saw a Bigfoot and the Indians viewed these as spiritual guardians. Yeah, nobody ever thought a Bigfoot card. My idea. Nobody can steal Bigfoot card in the spiritual community. That's mine. So don't you think you can? And um, uh, you need to have trust in your relationships for them to flourish. Both partners need to be trustworthy, and trust involves fidelity and honesty. When you trust, you'll grow stronger and be as one. Oh, wedding band. See, that's why it come out. Because me and my old man, we do have wedding bands. I wear my wedding bands. Oh, and whoever this is for you all, they want to uh, take you to Vegas and elope with you. It's the Divine Masculine. Um... They're in regret because they had never had a love like you. And they're regretting that they lied on you. And they want to come to you with the truth that they want to take you to Vegas and marry you. Did you hear that? Because, uh, <coughs> you know, the angels of love work for you. You you and this person has a sacred marriage from divine. And, and you're all light workers. And you might have saw Bigfoots before. You all believe in fidelity and trust. Y'all yeah, love to play around, and your all's heart still beats plumb out of your chest every time. Even if you've been together 25 years, it still does, because you're their damn cupcake now. And uh, whoever this old sister is that's uh, they're in this uh, trisexual, try anything, gold digger, tempting titties energy, they're on Xanaxes. They're on psychotic meds. Xanaxes, Kalanapons. What else is it? Uh, um, what's on one little pills? They're on some of them little pills. Uh, some of them little pills. It looks like Xanax. It's cedar, blue, and peach. That's what they look like. That's what they're on. And they're jealous because uh, cause they've never had anyone um, like you have. All they do is copy and paste everything you say, whoever this is in a spiritual community. Uh... And um, they might be trying to steal from you. Um, they might they they might know that you got an insurance policy, and they're trying to steal from you. And uh, 
spirit's going to uh, get this person. And um, that's the truth. What I just said, uh, they're in conflict. They, their, 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 their body. All they know how to do is be in disruption. Let's fight. Let's fuck. Let's fucking fight. That's not me. I don't know who that is. They want to punch you because you told the truth about them. And this divine masculine is regretting all lies he spread on you. He wants to take you to marry you. And uh, these dogs and cats of yours are aware that there's a spirit in your house. Ancient Sierra Prophet. That's what it said. Okay. See, I'm putting my cards down here so I don't use them again, you guys. Okay, dokery, okay, dokery. Hang on, I'm gonna do a hat box reading. <laughs> hat box reading for the collective. Yeah, I'm gonna run to you. What when I feel is right. For the fire signs, what is for fire signs, spirit? Spirit said, there's you a damn bunch now. Oh, there's a bunch. They a bunch fell out. Oh, wow. Some more fell out. Ooh. Do -do 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 oh, wow. Surely tells us right here in a minute. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna tell us in a minute what is true and true, and that is too. We're gonna run to you. I'm gonna run to you. Okay, that's all I'm getting, you guys. Hang on. Ooh, wow. Okie dokie, okie dokie, pokey, oh, oh, oh. Okie dokie, whoa, whoa, okie dokie, pokey. Ooh, Idaho come out. So maybe you live in Idaho or know someone in Idaho. Uh, I thank you guys for. Uh, watching me and if you're new please hit subscribe right now while i'm thinking about it and hit the bell and hit all and you'll be notified every time that i upload here because i do a different type of way and i hope y'all notice that and i think a lot of people's noticing now in a spiritual community and i love y'all and i thank you so much because i do try to help us i got a different kind of um information calls i've lived a long time and i've been married a long time and i can tell you about anything that you want to talk about probably i know about it okay probably i can i'm just being honest with you all if you need to talk about anything i've had a child die i've had a lot of things happen to me i've had my brother die my best friend and he was a leo um, and he comes to my readers a lot. My collective knows it. Oh, 1333, and my brother does too. I mean, and my son does too. And I love him, and I love him so. And I love, 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 love him, and I thought the thank you spirit for showing us. All right, so. Oh, they want to come inside you and put a baby in your belly. Oh, somebody wants to do that to you out here. Did you hear that? Oh, and you have to clear all your karma to heal and ascend. Yeah. Someone sees the potential in you. Ooh, somebody sees it now. This person has ties to people that um, that might own uh, like the whole damn um, county. <laughs> and you're building your wealth and empire every day and God will reward you of your efforts for the work done on yourself and this business. Oh, wow. Somebody wants to put a baby in your belly and for you building your business. And our energy is totally very strong. Imagine how great our love making will be. Ooh. Whoever that is, you, you ain't gonna know to you. Heal and ascend. You gotta clear that karma. And your masculine has been out hoeing with your friends. Oh. 
So if your mask on is one of these signs they've been out holding with your friends, I mean, use discernment. It's for somebody. Better be saving up their money. This person that owns a lot of shit in the community, they better be saving up their money. Huh? Must be spirits taking it. A brother hurt divine feminine and now divine masculine has heard about it. Ooh, yeah. And this man is obsessed with you and he's watching you daily. Oh, God. He knows you're strong. Your energy is totally strong. And, and he knows that he wants to clear that karma with you. And you're a gifted cook because of all the herbs that you use. Ooh. Oh, wow. They see it. And, oh, God, you got star codes. Star codes is downloading into you at the moment. And something about uh, deception. This brother that hurts you, they're lying. They're sickening. They're sickening. Uh, they they are... Uh, this man that's obsessed with you, they're an informant. They're not your friend. Ooh. They just want to be your friend with benefits. Oh, wow. I'm sorry for hurting you over and over again. Oh, wow. Did you hear how that tell that story? Oh, wow. Your karmics are hating on you because you know how to rise above all this bullshit. Huh? Something about aliens. Something about soulmates from Babylonian times. And your uncles. All right, hang on. So, somebody's uncle is... Uh, or brother. A brother which might be, a, you know, an uncle if you got kids. So, his brother, that's an uncle to your kids, is sickening. All they do is lie and deceive. Uh, they're an informant for the law. They're not your friend or your brother. They're trying to fuck with your business. Uh, and and uh, they're, they're mad because they know they're a karmic and you rose above all this shit. They're just, whoever this is that's obsessed with watching you, they just want to be a friend with benefits with you. That's all it is. Because they love that you're, you can cook and you got energy of building a business and... They just want to go and hoe around with their friends all the time and come and put babies in all these women's belly. And uh, don't y'all know that uh, you can't be with the chosen one because that's ignorant. Nobody goes for that bullshit. So karma's getting you. And, and for, they're sorry they kept hurting you over and over again. And, uh, they better start saving up some money. Yeah, because this person that owns a lot of shit, they better start saving up some money because they're losing it. Somebody sees the potential in you. You're an alien. Your energy is totally strong. You're getting star codes because you're, you're, you and your person are soulmates from Babylonian times. My idea, my story, Babylonian times, do not steal it. My story, don't know who what yours is, but I know mine. I know. And how is life treating you now since you received your karma? That's what somebody's saying. Here's how it's treating them. They're in discontent. And uh, they're receiving cruelties back to them. <laughs> karma paid them back with cruelty. Imagine that. And, you, and uh, um, someone's wife, some, it says your boss's wife is bitter and envious of you. She acts like your friend in your face and then she spread lies and <laughs> rumors about you oh so their karma is paying them back and your purpose is to love and when i mean love you need to love everyone even your enemies and you do and the divine master wants to take and lay you down and work his healing magic on you damn it damn it now he better he's wanting to do it so bad and whoever will harm any animal or pet they got some low down dirty secrets that they don't want you that they won't want out so maybe his boss's wife has harmed your animals huh and, and, and you got these people looking up to you now. Well, what about that shit? All these people that lied on you and was bitter and envious and jealous of you, now they're looking up to you. Someone's trying to persuade you into doing something. Persuasion, yeah. They're trying to persuade you, and you're like, no, enemy, you, you need that karma. You all give me my... Y'all thought it was funny to tell all my shit. Now I, you see my magical powers is true, and... And I'm gonna get every, and I'll get everything that's owed to me. That's why I wrote that. <laughs> and um, something about yeah, we know about the blood in the meat. Ooh, ooh, somebody put some blood in some meat that you bought off of them or something, or maybe they fed you something and they put period blood in it. <laughs> and and, and uh, women that has something to prove, they need to heal from abandonment issues and loss and abuse from their daddies or mommies. 
Oh, you believe it? You, something about magical potions and a miracle. A miracle saved you from that magical potion that they was persuading you with that meat and that sausage. Huh? Did you hear that? They put a magical potion in that sausage meat. Huh? He looks like, and she looks like pure shit now for fucking with you. Huh? Uh, you're connected. I'm connected to my masculine side. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. And uh, through all the adversity, all the challenges made you learn to not do the same things over and over again. And cords, cords uh, is not cut, and they need to be cut soon. This, If you haven't cut ties with this person, you need to soon. And you know exactly who their ringleader was. Duh. It just said it a boss's wife. Longevity is our marriage life. Ooh, wow, I love you, spirit. So cut the cords with this ringleader that is a boss and their boss's wife. You need to cut cords with these people. Because they might have put some blood in your meat. Whoever this is for. This story could be for a lot of people. Uh, and they was cruel and discontent with their life. And um, the, uh, and uh, they're looking up to you now. Because uh, uh, they know that they're receiving their karma. They're trying. Try, they're wanting to persuade you that uh, they're not your enemy. But they might have harmed your pets. And uh, you're going to get everything that's owed to you. And these people look like pure shit now. And, and, uh, and, and you learn not to do things over and over again. You're not proving anything to anyone. Uh, Divine Masculine knows how to work his magic on you. Your longevity is our marriage life. That's for me. And you're always out here. Whoever loves you, big girl, you're all going to be married forever and ever. And these magical potions can't help. They, was, they had a magical potion concocted up to make you not be connected to your masculine. That's what it was. But, you know, miracles work in my life always. I love you, spirit. And I, I know the miracles. And I've seen them. Oh, and Divine Masculine is, is getting a house ready for you as we speak. He's not letting you get out of his sight. Oh, gee, you at 20 to 11. Something about his, something about an aunt. And lust energy. They want to watch porn and snort cocaine. Oh, it's Ant or Ant Figure. They like to snort cocaine. 22-22. Oh, she the queen of denial. She is the queen of denial. And saying a prayer for all the strong. Continuous cycles around and around with this Ant or Ant Figure. Oh, yeah. You, you had to stand your ground to that energy. And uh, something about somebody got poisoned at work. You poison them at work, queen of denial. Someone just wants a three-way with you. Huh. He says, I'm stressed to the max. Oh, his aunt is stressed, and they're in a continuous cycle of karmic. They live with a karmic. They are, they, they, they're receiving their karma now. It's going to continuously keep coming around, coming around to them because they didn't acknowledge what they did to you. You know, you can't go around putting big blood clots in fucking meat and selling it to people. That's fucking gross and that's sick. It's like period blood. You don't buy meat and there's a fucking blood clot in that big. No. Well, somebody keeps snooping around trying to figure you out. You're a mystery to these people and you stood your ground to them and, and, and you was at your breaking point. I'm at my breaking point. See, I wrote this last year in October. See, yeah. yeah. You was at your breaking point and the universe knows that you're a teacher and you're meant to show others the way to clean up their lives. You're their pure karma. <laughs> If they wanted to fuck you over, and you'll purely bring the whole karma shit show down. Oh, yeah, yeah. They don't listen to their intuition. They don't listen to their intuition. That's why they're stressed. They're stressed because they know they poisoned your ass. This queen of denial, ant, ant figure. You had to stand your ground of these people that wanted to keep you snorting coke and all this shit. Continuous cycles of fuck up. Y'all got your house together, or Divine Masculine's getting one together for you. They ain't letting you get out of their sight. Saying I'm proud for all the strong. This person that keeps trying to snoop around and trying to figure you out. That person just want to be a three way in, in a three way with you. And the universe knows that I'm telling the truth and that I'm a teacher and I can teach you all this about breaking points. We all can only we all get to a breaking point. Sometimes you know we snap. 
Hell, it'll be hard for to not snap all that shit that these people was putting you through, you know? It'd be hard not to bug and snap. Oh, wow, where'd them come from? Oh, and it says, keep on looking and I'll show you something worth looking at. <laughs> Ooh, what are you going to do with yourself when your asses are thrown in jail for slandering my name and my family's name? Oh, God, these is just up our by their self. They tried to delay our union and their karma is hitting them dead in their face now. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Keep on looking. I'll show you something to look at. Uh, that the karma is in your fucking face now. Hitting you dead in the face now. And and, uh, and you're always going to jail for slandering on my name. That's why I ain't was like that. 25, 25. That's why she was feeling like that. Because we didn't see that part. Now we know. No, no, no. Now we know. Now we know, yo, yo. Now we know, yo, yo. That's what we know. They're in confusion and... Um, they have repressed emotions. They don't know how to, uh, they misinterpret. They don't know how to misinterpret because they're feeling insecure. And, um, this was the moon They're They, you know, they, they lied. They know they did this. Uh, they was trying to make you feel insecure and poverty and financial strife and isolation and worry. And what's happening is it's coming right back. That's karma. Purely karma. How it works. And uh, they got a past resentment towards you if you're a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone wants to uh, recon reconciliation, making amends. They're wanting to make amends with you for putting you in this poverty conscious and making you miss out on all your opportunities. Um, but um, they're angry at you and um, they're delaying this reconciliation. So this person's delaying their reconciliation with you. Um, and, and, uh, your future planning at the moment, you're making decisions and progressing, and this person doesn't know what the fuck to do, evidently. Um, judgment. Um, they need to go inside and reflect, or, you know, like I have, you know, I've been through awakening, you know, before, and, you know, this is a transition, a decision, a change. You better change and get out of that fear fear mentality and worried about strife of have i got money or not because uh you're doing this shit to the extremes that's why you feel disruption of your body at the moment and in chaos because you do things excessively and you you're you was a lack of balance that's why okay And uh, they they want to reconcile, and it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, man, King of Swords. Uh, but they just know that you're disciplined, and you're tell, and you're all about truth, and you give people mental clarity. You have the authority and the intellect to do this, okay? And um, but but they still do things impulsively, and they're reckless, and they do things in haste. They want to take action. They have the impulse to do it, but they they're in that defense mode. They're just, they they feel ambitious. They feel ambitious about planning a future with you, but they are they're receiving inspiration at the moment. They feel free and they got limitless potential and explore. They're ex, they're exploring their um, which way what they want to do. What's that? What's the outcome? Outcome. Fleeting success, financial failure, lack of resources, ten of pentacles upside down because they fucked with your ten of pentacles. Oh, look, it come out sideways, four cups. They are, uh, you got a sudden awareness. Uh, they they wanted you to be depressed and in regret. They wanted you to miss out on opportunities because <laughs> they're the fucking devil, you know. They they was addicted to messing messing your life up. They did this excessively. They're all about materialism. They're all about money. That's it. They're greedy. They're, they're, they're greedy motherfuckers. They're envious and jealous. They're in temptation and fear. Fear, 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 fear. So it started out fear and it ended fear. So, I mean, I'd cut that loss, whoever it is. Yeah, cut it like, it sounds smart. Move on. Forgive, move on, heal, and accept that it's fucking done. So this person needs to accept that, you know, it's done. Done, did, tiddly, totally, toasted, done. So, whoever that is, I don't know you guys, but I love you and I hope this helps somebody out there today.
please uh, help me get around in a spiritual community. And I love you guys, and I thank you. <laughs> Hope y'all have a wonderful day. Peace.